Welcome to your reading for February for 2021. Welcome to Prophecy. My name is Piper. Thank you so much for watching my channel. If you would like to subscribe, please click that button um, and leave me a comment about what you think. Um, if this reading resonates with you, I will offer an extended read. So all you have to do is scroll down to the bottom of this video where the description box is. And in that box is a link to Vimeo where you can purchase the extended read where I will clarify the cards that we're going to use for this reading here today. We'll talk deeper about the meanings of those cards and the outcome for your month. We'll also get some oracle cards for advice. So please join me for that. In this read here on YouTube, I'm going to channel a message for you uh, from Spirit, and then we'll put down some cards for the month and discuss the energies there, okay? All right, Leo, let's see what February has in store for you. Love is what February is about for you, Leo. You're about to be smitten again. And it's a good thing because you're due. You're willing to provide answers to someone's questions about your availability. You're open to being suavely courted out in the open and in the streets where people can see you, where you can be seen. It's lovely to be paid attention to and you preen under someone's close attention. It makes you feel good again. And you're finally acting upon your impulses and responding to someone's gentle touch. Okay, wow. <laughs> All right, Leo. So this month for you, obviously, about the attention from someone else. So, I don't know why you're all in your head about it. I don't know why you feel trapped in that energy, Eight of Swords, all like in your head. I feel like you are worried because um, some of you are... Out in the, again, out in the open um, or being noticed and it may be causing you some stress or some worry or you're thinking too much about it. The Eight of Swords is being a prisoner of the mind, so to speak. And some of you might be wondering just what is going to become of this situation so finding break time is going to be a challenge for you this month again being trapped in your head you're going to need rest finding time time to take breaks right it's busy the Four of Swords rests from a tempest, tempest of desire that drains you and you're going to need to sleep. It'll be hard to find that time. So, 
There's a possibility also. You've got four of cups here. You may feel like you missed out on an opportunity or whatever. So here's the deal. You've got something good. Okay, you have something good going for you here, but you might not necessarily see it. And you may also be worried about people, what people see from the outside, Leo. People say, oh my God, they've got such a really great life. But you probably don't think you have that great a life. You probably think that you're stagnating or stuck with this Eight of Swords. And you may be focusing a little too much on those four cups that are in front of you to notice what's really going on. I don't know why you're unhappy. I do feel like you guys process information maybe a little bit longer than other people would. And maybe you're, you need to figure out what's best in this or what's good in this situation. But you're you. You're the mother of wands. So you're standing tall and being courageous and being your normal rock star self. That's for sure. You are definitely protective. Having a heightened awareness of what you need to take care of in the month of February. You're doing your thing. I feel like you guys have like a tactical plan on how to proceed. You just need to again process some information first. You know, if it's about love, it's about making sure that everyone that you, you know, that you don't get taken so far off your pathway that it makes you unhappy. And I feel like, uh, you know, it's like you're giving someone a chance because you believe in love. But you don't want to get bogged down in a situation that keeps you a prisoner. Or makes you feel less than. And, it, you know, there is a possibility that you become so focused on your own stuff that you forget to accept the offer. Or you forget to... Enjoy what life has to give you right now. Because it is giving you something. So. Four of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody's clinging a little too tightly. And if it's about love for you guys you may find it a little stifling. Aw, Leo. And so you may not consider this serious enough for you. Or if you feel like they're just a little too attentive or a little too needy or a little too clingy, then it may make you feel claustrophobic.
The Four of Pentacles can also mean that you need to save a lot of money to do something, but I do feel like for most of you, it's about being kept inside a small circle of friends for so long that you are unable to see the benefit of those relationships. And when I say a small circle of friends, it means that regardless of how much in love you might be, you can't share it with the world yet, or you're, or you're unable to figure out how to branch out in the situation. Now, this could be because of COVID, guys. This is a COVID world now, so things are so so different, right? And you might sort of keep to yourself. Some of you, for some of you Leos, it's about wanting to be seen. But there's no option for that right now. To be sure, Leo, just so you know, all of these cards are minor arcana. And it's no big thing, I feel. Whatever's going on in February... It's just that you're getting bogged down in little things because it's a maybe a month where retrograde has got you sort of, you know, in a in a in a in a reverse mode here. All right, you guys. I feel like you're gonna take your security very seriously. And you're going to make sure that you batten down the hatches accordingly. In order to protect yourself, your stability, your money. Yeah. All right, you guys, I'm going to leave it there. So please join me for the extended read. Scroll down. There's a link below. Click on that. It will take you to Vimeo. If this resonates with you at all, we're going to clarify these cards and dig into these issues a little bit. We're going to find a solution for your challenge so you can get more rest. And um, we're going to talk about the outcome. We'll also get some Oracle cards for advice. Um, yeah. All right. We'll see you then. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.